everyone. Today we're going to be reading a book called Izzy the Wiz and Passover McQueen by Yao Mermelstein and Carrie Hartman. A book about cleaning for Peppa. Izzy the Wiz is so busy. He is tweaking with beakers that bubble and fizz, inventing machines that can think, blink, and talk. Machines of your dreams that can wiggle and walk. Now with Passover coming, his room's filled with clutter, like gadgets and gizmos that whistle and sputter. Come into his world and you'll see what I mean, as we watch him inventing Passover McLean. His mother came in and she said, Izzy, please, there's Hamet's all over, I'm starting to wheeze. The rooms are still swarming with cookies and bread, that mouse in the corner is nibbling the shreds. There's cake in your closet and crumbs in your shoes. Do you blame me for having pre-Passover blues? Dear Izzy, I need to lie down in my bed. I'm getting a bread ache right here in my head. Don't worry, said Izzy, it's almost complete. My brand new invention will make the house neat. Go rest, take a nap, sleep at least until two. When I finish, there won't be a thing left to chew. A squeak and a twiddle, four drops are ready. A tweak and a fiddle, it's working, I think. His special invention, his brand new machine, the Super McDuper Passover McLean. Izzy pressed the red button, McLean lurched in word. He cranked the green handle, it belched and it purred. Then the hungry machine chomped 10 books for its lunch, gobbled the rug and continued to munch. The curtains, the shelves, the mattresses were fed to McLean who then ate a large chair in a bed. They whirled and they swirled and they curled up inside where the crumbs were all cleaned and the toys washed and dried. McLean then completed a quick about face and spit each thing out, put it back in its place. Izzy checked everything with the back of his thumb. Not a flake, not a cake, not a cookie or crumb. Then he tugged and he lugged his machine down the stairs and he parked it right next to the dining room chairs. Now Izzy would clean up the living room too. It would make his mom dizzy. What Izzy could do? With a whir and a purr, the machine started up and a fork was right by with a plate and a cup. Then a table flew by with a new cordless phone. Then a desk, a computer, and a paperweight stone. All were blown, all were thrown into Izzy's machine. A pre-holiday feast for Passover McLean. But oh my, what is this? Smells of smoke, reams of steam? Then a spark, it went dark, oh poor Mr. McLean. Izzy whisked out his turbo light, shined it about, but it didn't look good, things were not coming out. He would have to tell mother that he'd really tried, but the living room sadly was stuck there inside. But wait, not too late, the emergency hatch. Izzy flipped McLean over and looked for the latch. He pulled out his super knife screwdriver tool. He checked in his book for the malfunction rule. He turned a few screws and he twisted a knife. Then a wink and a blink and McLean came to life. Izzy pressed the red button, emergency two, and then out of the hatch, the whole living room flew. But Izzy's wide smile sagged into a frown as he watched all the furniture land upside down. The couch with its legs poking straight in the air, an overturned table, an upside down chair, a carpet spread out with the rough side on top, Life fixtures hung backwards, all ready to drop. Just then he heard slippers pad into the room. Oh, Izzy, said Mother. He shivered with gloom. He looked at his watch. It was just 1.15. His mom was too early. She looked at the scene. Oh, goodness, she said. But I must go back in. I have to lie down. I can feel my head spin. I thought I was better, she said with a frown. But I'm clearly not well. The whole room's upside down. What a tizzy, thought Izzy. Things couldn't be worse. So as soon as Mom left, 
is he jammed on reverse and reverse did the trick. Now McLean was so slick, turned the whole room right over and did it real quick. And the house gleamed and sparkled, the room was so bright when they sat down to cedar and Passover night. No cookies or crumbs, said his mom, not a shred. It's Passover clean, not a speck of real bread. How beautifully dusted, how wonderfully clean. Thanks to him, as he said, as he winked at McLean. That's nice. So if you had to invent a machine like Izzy to clean your house for Pesach, what would it be? Think about that and write it down, draw a picture. Thank you for watching.